Hey, metalheads, welcome in. That's right, that is the signal. We are throwing up the horns. Why? Because we love heavy metal. I love heavy metal. My very first album was Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast. And I'll tell you what, the progression since then has been a fun journey. I have no shame in saying I don't drink much. I may have an occasional beer here and there. I don't smoke weed. Although I had a three-day bench in college, that didn't go too far. In fact, helped me realize it probably wasn't a good idea. But yet, we all have to have an outlet. My outlet is heavy metal music. That's right. That's where I get it out. Yeah, I'm not in the center of the mosh pit kind of thing. But, you know, the aggression is there. I'm 53. You know, I probably can't handle myself inside the mosh pit. But the beauty is, is we take this music And we bring it together, and to me, it's a full experience. You hear the song, you get to see the video, which is the platform we are using here on First Look, and then obviously you bring it together with a concert, which, by the way, I can't wait. The next concert I'm going to is April 20th in the Bay Area. Looking forward to seeing two of my three favorite bands and one band that we featured first Right here on First Look, I'm talking about Mastodon, followed by Gojira, and opening up is Lorna Shore. That's right, our very first uh, segment of First Look featured Lorna Shore. The pain remains. It has the most views. I invite you to check it out, and I also invite you to subscribe. We have been doing a great job. You've been doing a great job of hitting subscribe. All that does is it alerts you to brand new material. We stay consistent. We're bringing it out each week for you, so you're never going to miss a thing. The other piece of this is... We love hearing from you. The comments you guys drop in the comment section has been phenomenal. Michael, my producer, is usually the one who responds, but he'll show me everything that's being talked about, and I absolutely love the banter. I call it the banter, and if you got songs that you would like us to look at, we would love to do that. Now, Michael also is an aficionado of heavy metal, and so his song today is a suggestion, and today we are looking at Volatile Ways, and the song is called Time's Up. All right. So again, nutshell, this band, I don't know volatile ways. I have never heard Time's Up. I've never seen the video. Don't know the sound. I give you raw reaction. We give it a rating one through 10. If it's anything over nine, it's going to be something I pretty much like, right? Okay. So we were just coming off a video uh, from, oh man, it was so good. It was called uh, Death Therapy by Terminal Sleep. I'm just going to bring out because it got a high rating. So I'm always anticipating like the next best song. Hopefully this is it. It might disappoint. We don't know and we won't know until we get right to it. So without further ado, let's have some fun. In death, I am all alone. And my only judge is me. Another female lead singer! We got a theme going on! That's not her, is it? As a 53 year old, I love the words at the bottom. I love it. Wow, just, just pretty, dirty, deep. She's probably someone I wouldn't want to screw with. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. This 
sound like good. Okay, so I started off like I was like, oh, okay, great. And again, I see I don't know the band, so I didn't realize that my producer Michael for the last three videos has given me a theme. It's it's lead singers that are female, and boy, we have seen some different female lead singers. I love the Terminal Sleep lead singer. This one, like it, it caught me, and I was like, okay. But then I can't help it, but throughout the song, full transparency, people. I was like, is that her? I mean, it's got to be. But here's what I need to ask, okay? And I've asked this question before. And I know a rating's right around the corner. I'll give it. But I'm kind of filling time here for obvious reason. And that is, with guys, I understand. Like, they can do it naturally. For women, can they can they do it naturally too? My, my guess is yes. But I don't know why when I saw this, I was like, is there a voice box that's going on there? Why am I having trouble with this? I'm on the cusp, and this one is an 8.9 for me. It actually, the surprise factor was good. Um, I wasn't in love with that mosh pit either. You, you can't give me one or two people in a mosh pit. That's not a mosh pit. You got to get all the people together. So I would have had a collection of people. That would have gave it energy. Um, and then it was real slow, real slow maybe too slow for me so this one is on the cusp i love the theme that we've got rolling with the female lead singers the, the women you're doing awesome i love it respect the craft but i'm going with 8.9 on this one volatile ways of course you know what that means i always say if i'm under nine i want to see more so hopefully there's a follow-up so if you are a fan of the band this is where i want you to chime in because that's the beauty of the discussion tell me why like tell me why you love volatile ways and then i can look at that and say you know what okay i'll give that another look and we know as metalheads listen you know we have our lane of what we like i've shared with you i love aggressive um i love bands that just kind of bring it and stuff you know no la di da fluffy fluff i don't need that and stuff um, but anyways, that's me. Okay, so there you go. 8.9 for Volatile Ways. Time's up. Another edition in the books. Until next time, rock on.